What's up fam, it's your boy Kirk, and we're back with another installment of the How It All Works Academy Ecamm Edition. Today, we're gonna be looking at audio. Everything audio related in the system, we're gonna be taking a look at that. Yesterday, we looked at, looked at multiple ways to connect camera, to set our stream quality, all that good stuff. Today, we're gonna be talking about how people can hear us, all the different things that you need to do in Ecamm for your audio. So let's dive in. So now we're here in Ecamm. We're looking at uh, the entire setup. I'm gonna say this every day. Do not get overwhelmed by what you're seeing here. Um, let us first go to preferences and take a look at sound. So I've gone into preferences. I'm gonna go into the sound section. And if what we wanna do here is make sure that our input and our output are set to what we want it to be. A lot of the consults that I do with people um, trying to figure out audio issues, sound issues for their live stream have mainly started and been fixed right here. You've got to make sure that your audio input is set to what you want it to be. In that case, it's my audio interface, the Air 1924, this is an M-Audio device, and then my output, both, both of them for me, is gonna be the same thing. This is my standard device. That's what you hear me speaking on right now. That's why you see the audio levels jumping. This is the device that I use for that, and I wanna make sure that you guys are able to uh, see that and go through and make sure this is part of your checklist. This is part of you, what you do, your pre-show routine. You go and you make sure your input and your output defaults in your system are set to the right thing. So now that we've done that, that's good. Uh, we want to go into the preferences window. And you can go there in a couple ways. One of them is by going up to Ecamm Live and going down to preferences. But the other one is going to be in, by going to show hide preferences here. Uh, some Something that you need to be aware of for audio is that if you haven't already installed system audio, you want to do that. System audio allows you to record the sounds coming from your computer, but it is not automatically installed. So you want to come here to Ecamm Live and go down to system audio and install it. Make sure you install it. All right. So that's that's one thing to do there. On the preferences tab, we have the audio window and I'm going to pull this off of me on my face real quick. Um, but yeah, you can see here the speakers are set to the default speakers. Now you can change this, but it's just easier that if you set it one time for the whole system, that Ecamm also uses the same thing. Um, you have the option here to, to um, broadcast system audio. Now I usually have this set to never because I want to control what items I'm bringing into my stream. But if you notice here in sound levels, when I set this to all the time, I get a slider, I get a controller for system audio. And so I can just mute it here if if that's what I want to do, but you would have to mute it in each scene. And that's going to make sense in a little what in a little while in the series when we start going through overlays and scenes. Uh, so I'm going to turn that back off to never. And we have a number of different things that we we can go through here. Uh, first thing we want to touch on is mic delay. Mic delay is going to sync up my video with my audio. A lot of people use a capture card or an A10 mini or something like that to bring their video into their uh, streaming platform. In this case, Ecamm. Ecamm is, has a built-in delay feature. So I found that six or seven or eight frames keeps my audio and my video in sync. So when my mouth moves, it, my, when my voice, when I'm speaking, my mouth is moving along with the words that I'm saying. So uh, that really is a great help and is a great feature that Ecamm has given us. So want to make sure you're aware of that. I have talked about the idea of recording isolated audio tracks in the Academy before. Of course, when we were looking at StreamYard, here is the option in Ecamm. You can just check this box. Um, and in, in addition to your normal recording, you will get a recording of, of, of each audio track that uh, of, for guests that you have coming in the system. That is really good for any of my podcasters out there. If you want to bring somebody in into interview mode, you can actually have uh, isolated audio tracks, separate audio files for each person. And so that's where you would do that. And these are some of the options that you have available to you in your 
audio preferences for Ecamm Live. Now let's close that down real quick and let's just go over to sound levels. So here's our sound levels. Now, this is my default microphone, but if I click the down arrow, I do have access to all the microphones in the system. And this is the primary uh, microphone that I have set. So that is where why you're seeing the audio level on this on this um, input. I can turn that up and down however I want to in the system, and that does control what my specific audio sounds like. But I want you to see that movies, if I'm playing a movie, I have control over that here as well. Sound effects, tomorrow's video is on sound effects and I can control where my sound effects lie and <clears throat> what they sound like as well. And then of course, interview mode. And so if I bring guests in to, uh, to my show, to my live stream, I can control all of their audio right here with this one slider. Now I do have it muted right now, I'm gonna unmute it. And we're just gonna kind of slide that back and forth. Yeah, you have full control of all the guests. I wanna say this, interview mode slider here in sound levels gives you control of all your guests' audio. So if you have four guests in the system, you would be controlling all of their audio with this slider. The way to control their audio individually would be to go to the interview mode window. Now we're gonna have a video specifically on interview mode, but I wanna just show you here for audio that I can slide up and down my guests, got my guests audio right here. And so I would have a list of all of them in this interview mode window, and I could actually control the audio for all of those guests here in this mode. Again, everything on the screen has a purpose. So that's why they're all here. One of the last things I wanna talk about in terms of audio with Ecamm is off-air audio. This is something that they just recently added within the last maybe two, three months actually. And it, it, only, it only comes on if you're actually recording, if you're live streaming. So I'm gonna actually click the record button here. Um, don't mind that too much. You'll see that all the audio levels are here. I, I, I have my other computer over on that side of the office um, added to the system as a guest so that we can demo this. And if I um, mute myself and mute the interview, you'll see that on this interviewee's uh, square here, off-air audio has come up. And so it says you can chat with your guests. The audio will not be in the broadcast or recording. This is so cool and so critical. This is what I use when I have my countdown clock up and going. I just, in that scene, again, this is gonna make sense when we start doing scenes, but in that scene, I have myself muted, my interview mode muted, and that allows me and my guest or guests to have a conversation and to chat and maybe even do some pre-show prep prior to actually going fully live. And that is really great. One of the great uh, additions to audio in Ecamm Live has been off-air audio. Let's go ahead and finish out that recording, and that way we can come out of that mode, unmute these. And, and, and the thing that's so cool about all these things, it's all integrated on screen. It's right in front of you. Uh, the last thing I wanna show you before we <laughs> close out this video is that you have this plus sign here in audio levels. So right now I have my primary audio, which is my microphone, this microphone. But if I had a different audio source, I can hit the plus sign. It gives me an additional audio level and I can actually select another input. If I want to select the input from my MacBook microphone, my um, webcam, which is behind me back there, um, even some of my virtual microphones and loopback, whole nother video for another time, but I can select even the audio coming in from the Blackmagic ATEM Mini, uh, which is sitting next to me here. Whatever I want to do, I can bring those, bring that, bring at least one additional audio input into this system by hitting that plus sign, and if I wanna get rid of it, let's say I'm just use, using it temporarily, I can hit that minus sign to get rid of it. So there you have it. <laughs> we looked at default input output, we looked at audio preferences, mic delay, system audio, isolated tracks, we looked at your sound levels and all the different things that, that happen in the sound levels window. We even looked at off-air audio. And in another video, probably not in this series, we're gonna take a look at loopback and audio hijack and how I use those things to enhance my stream sound in Ecamm. 
man, I hope that something here resonated with you. I hope that something here was something new for you that you learned. And I'm hoping that it will help you to level up your live streaming in Ecamm. Also, I'm hoping that if if something I explained hit home and you know there's somebody else that needs to hear that, somebody else that's been trying to figure out something with sound in Ecamm, hopefully you will be able to share this video with them because that's what it's all about. I want to make sure we get this content in the, into the hands of those that need it. Uh, man, it's my pleasure to be your host, to be your instructor for the How It All Works Academy Ecamm Edition. And I'm hoping that you'll come back tomorrow when we'll be talking about sound effects. Everything in the sound effects window will go through that in tomorrow's video. It's your boy, Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher, hoping that somewhere in the video today, we got you a little closer to figuring out how it all works. We'll see you in the next video.